again and welcome to another Madrain uh, unboxing video. So today we're gonna um, we're gonna focus on the latest uh, dual deck so far, which is a good thing to to unbox because you've got some recurrent dual decks that um, that are out every year. And this is something like seven for eighth dual deck. Um, <clears throat> and this time you see um, Jace versus Vasca, uh, Jace the fourth Jace, Jace. Architect of Thoughts, <coughs> this is the fourth version of uh, the Benzwoker Jace. And of course, you have the Mono Blue deck versus the <coughs> Black Green deck, which is uh, always of the colors of the Planeswalker that are fronting. Uh, the decks are really well balanced, so if you play them, it's obviously something you can have fun with, to, fun with, with um, a lot of your friends. Um, and this is uh, something like $20 out, uh, you can find it for a cheaper price. Uh, between uh, 15, 15 to 20 euros if you're in uh, Europe. Um, the deck is out in uh, English and Japanese, so you can pick it up in Japanese too. Um, and it's, it's filled with good cards. I've already unboxed this one um, previously. So as usual, you've got the two boxes to put your decks in, which is um, a good thing to store all your cards after you open them. And um, the, th the question is, uh, how many um, goods or bad cards are there in the sets? And you've got obviously some good choices that were made here. Uh, I'm going to point them to you. So we're going to start with the uh, Jace deck. So as usual, you've got the rules book and something to help you stop magic. Um, in the Jace deck, first of all, the two planeswalkers. Uh, you've got you've got them. They're already both in standard at the time we're making this video. Um, Jace, the architect of thought, is a, a pillar of control decks today. It's been played since it was out, so it was played in, um, I think, uh, it, was, it was played all the time in all the control decks like um, <coughs> Esper Control or Blue White Control, um, Blue Black Control too. Uh, it's pretty good against uh, pretty good against everything, you know, it's good against uh, <coughs> aggressive deck, it's good against Random beat down creators decks. Uh, it's it's good against control decks because you get, you can choose what you're gonna pick in. Uh, it doesn't waste your cards. It tries to defend itself and um, it's got an ultimate um, cap capacity which is really cool. So you just get to look at everyone's library, pick a card and play without in, in paying its mana cost, which is a good thing too. Um, You've got some pretty good cards inside. So first of all, um, Jace itself is a good card because it's played by four copies in uh, all control decks nowadays. Um, and this card is almost worth uh, the price of the pack itself, so it's a really good thing. Plus, I have to admit the foil and the new uh, illustration, the new art is really cool. So this, is, this, first of all, just for this is a good thing. So, But it's not all, all the things that is inside. You've got lots of things that are really worth talking about. Um, first of all, you've got uh, a Fentus Mobile, which uh, Travis Wu played on uh, Modern Tents recently, and Luis Cotvarkas did too. You've got the Seagate Oracle, which is um, a card that was played a few months, a few weeks, a few years ago. Uh, in Standard, it was a really cool card to play in Standard. You've got Either Adept, which is um, a common creature which is always doing its job, you know, bouncing other creatures. Uh, first thing of all, um, most of the cards that are inside these packs are really interesting if you're playing Commander. If you're playing, whether you're playing multiplayer Commander or one versus one Commander, there are a lot of cards you're gonna want to pick into this one if you don't have them already. Uh, but not only cards for Commander. For example, we've got Body Double. Body Double is a cool thing that is um, <coughs> coming from the Time Spiral um, cycle. It's a good thing because you know it copies, uh, it's a clone box with a um, with um, graveyards and um, it's a good card to have. You've got the Aeon Chronicler, which is also a card you might want to pick up for some co some commander decks when you got time to be really tapping out to play something. Uh, you've got some um, thought scores. Thought scores used to be played um, recently in uh, standard. Um, and it's still a good card, it's still, some, it's still doing its job, you know. Uh, you've got Into the Roll, Into the Roll, which is a really, really good common card from, uh, I think it was uh, Zendikar or Razor Field I don't remember well, but it's, um, <coughs> it's a very good card you want to play in Commander because it, 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 it does its job, you know, it's always handling um, whatever you find on the battlefield, and it's a really good card at doing this shit. 
So you've got also me a memory lapse. Uh, memory lapse is a kind of magic that wasn't printed since a long time. It's an old card when you're drawing, and um, it's kind of a good counter you want to have, um, such as the next one, which is prohibit. Prohibit is also a really good card to have in um, little uh, tempo control decks when you're going to have in uh, in commander and the star of these decks because people are really mad about this one is having a reman print inside. Uh, recently, Riemann has seen a lot of play in Modern, and uh, as you can see, uh, playing cards in Modern trends to make them prices go higher and higher. I mean, Tarmogoyf was already high, but um, Liliana of the Veil, for example, is really going high in price, and Riemann is trying to follow its path, you know, it's really costing a lot of euros and dollars, whatever you pay in uh, recently. So having a Riemann in such a cheap pack, uh, I call that a cheap pack, is a really good idea, plus you got a Pretty new design, which is cool. You got a new illustration. Um, so yeah, having a remand is a cool thing. Um, you've got also um, one control magic with a new drawing too. Uh, wasn't printed for a long time, I think. Too control magic. You've got um, some commander cards you won't be picking to. Uh, JC's ingenuity. Uh, heavy control decks like we win or whatever. You you want to try this one. Future Sight. Future Sight is a really exciting card that has been um, was out, I think, in uh, two editions. Um, uh, one quite recent and one really old. Uh, but Future Sight, whatever happens, is quite hard, not really hard, but quite hard to find. And obviously, if you're playing Commander, uh, whatever you're playing, if it's multiplayer or one versus one, you want to have a Future Sight in the blue deck because it's really, really, really interesting card. It's a moment later on, I was just about to say you've got some cool cards inside, and among them you had the Petrol Leech I was talking about, and you also have Night Whisperer, and the Night Whisperer is something good you want to have to play in um, the Night Whisperer, this one, in the Commander decks too, and uh, just to finish, you also want to have some Underworld connections from your standard deck, and uh, this is quite cool, so you've got lots of cards to play, it's Standard, Modern, um, and Commander for example. So overall, for the price it's worth, I think I'm not a fan of all the dual decks, but I have to say this one is a really really good dual decks to have, and I think it's worth the price it is, so just go get it, really, it's worth it. That was for Manadrain, William, see you next time.